what's going on? Welcome to The Zone. And fellas, if you decide to watch tonight, why, you might ask, because tonight is Ladies Night here on The Zone. And I'm Annie Russell. And I'm Tiffany Shifflett. In honor of Ladies Night, girls, I'm gonna hook you up. You get to watch for free. Plus, we have got highlights from the concert going down here at the Underground of Rebecca St. James and Barlow Girl. It's gonna be hot. All of the videos tonight are by female artists, and we've got two new ones that are really hot. Hey guys, what's going on? I am down here in the underground store, hanging out with my girl Katie, and I'm going to give her a chance to win a Crystal Meyer CD and t-shirt. Now, I'm gonna ask you a fairly easy trivia question. Do you think you're up to the challenge? Sure. Okay, since tonight on The Zone is Ladies Night, we thought it would be appropriate to ask a pretty good question, all right? Which of the following female artists has been nominated for a Grammy Award this year? All right, we've got Out of Eden, Zoe Girl, or Stacey Rico? I think I'll guess out of Eden. You go, Katie. Yes, you got that right. Okay. If you guys want to win this t-shirt and CD like my friend Katie did, go to surfthezone.com, click on contest, type crystal in the comment box, and you might have a chance to win. Now, since you won the CD and t-shirt already, I am going to give you the opportunity to tell us what's coming up on The Zone next. Next on The Zone is Flyleaf's new video, I'm So Had an amazing year playing shows with bands like P.O.D., Zane and Three Doors Down. And their name continues to pop up in music magazines everywhere. But now, back here, Barlow Girl has just hit the stage, and we're gonna be bringing you more concert highlights from both Barlow Girl and Rebecca St. James. So make sure you keep the lock right here on the zone. The underground Barlow Girl is on stage rocking the crowd. Everyone's singing along. It's a very intimate, but it's very, very hot. Next up on the ladies' night lineup is Super Chick. Now, their music is frequently used in TV shows and movies, and now their new hit single, Anthem, is used in a commercial to promote a new video game called Slay. So, you might want to check that out. All right, here is that music video for that Super Chick Anthem on the Zone.
we've got to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere, though, because coming up, we've still got more music videos and an interview with Rebecca St. James on The Zone. Loving it, of course. That's what they came here to see is her. Earlier before the concert, our very own Becca Pruitt City was able to sit down with Rebecca, and now's your chance to find out what they talked about. Hey, everybody. I'm with Grammy and Dove Award winner, Rebecca St. James. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure, another Becca. Yes, Other yes. Becca's are hanging out. That's right, good name, you know? <laughs> good name, yes. Let's talk about your sound, okay? Now, it seems that this album is a little more rock driven than previous yes. albums, is that right? Yeah, I just bought a t-shirt the other day and it says rock chick. Oh, and, yeah. and I've been saying that to people, like, rock Beck is back. And I, my, my second album was very rock oriented and then since then I've kind of had a rock pop mix and done some worship stuff as well which is a little bit more chilled but this album is definitely rocking and passionate and lyrically very much about just living the Christian life full on for God. So if I had one chance to tell you something. Very good. You got that right. People Ooh. stumble over it all the time. Really? Yeah. Just if you had, if I had, yeah. if I had a chance to tell you. Yeah. Some, one thing. Or... Yeah, yeah. Well, you have that chance now. What yes. would you like to tell our viewers? You are loved. Um, that is, the, if I had one chance to tell you something, is a line from a song called You Are Loved. And I wrote it about um, a friend of mine named Daniel. We went to school together when I was, Oh, actually when we were probably from about age 6 to 12 in Sydney, Australia. And um, I left that school and just always wondered what happened to him, you know. And I ran into a, a mutual friend years later and this friend told me that Daniel had fallen away from God and was like going through a really hard time in his life. And he just kind of came to mind as I was thinking and praying about what to write about on this new album. And um, I thought if I had one chance to tell him something, what would I want to say? And so I just thought, you know what? I really want to say, my brother, you are loved. No matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, you are extravagantly loved by God. And I think, you know, at the time I thought I was writing a song for him, but I've, I've realized since then I was writing it for me, I was writing it for you, all of us, because like every day we need to be reminded of that. You know, when I found out I was going to be interviewing you, I'm like, okay, she has so many accolades, she has so many awards, like, where do I start? So I'll just start with them, the one I know about that's most recent. So CCM Readers Poll named you favorite female artist for the fifth, fifth consecutive year. Like, how does that feel, first of all, to be a role model to so many young people, especially women? The role model thing, I take that very seriously because I think there's a lot of negative role models out there that are just doing almost lots more harm than good, you know, and I feel for my generation because I think they're being led astray in a lot of different areas, you know, to do with sex and drinking and drugs and, you know, they're just, there's a lot of bad examples out there and I just, I want to get to the end of my life and go, well, Lord, you know, I, I wasn't perfect, but I did seek to, to live for you and to point people in your way. 
Thank, thank you so you. much for talking with us. Oh, my pleasure. I've enjoyed it, Becca. <laughs> the other Becca. The Becca <laughs> we have more music for you, so don't go anywhere. Rebecca St. James is still on stage and her show so far has been extremely powerful. If you want to be part of the fun here at the Underground, go to theug.com for more upcoming concerts and events. Well, right now, I want to check out more of Rebecca, but you check out Plum's newest video, Cut. I know that video is really deep and a lot of you are probably even wondering what it's about. Plum wanted that video to be an expression of her ability to relate to those who are suffering and tempted to hurt themselves. 2.5 million people suffer from self-injury abuse. But also know that you are not alone. Like Annie just said, 2.5 million people suffer from that. And as a matter of fact, I used to be a part of that 2.5 million and I know what it feels like to think that you have no one to talk to. Well, I'm telling you guys right now that you can talk to me. You can go to surfthezone.com and drop me a message. And the entire time, God was reaching out to help me, and I want you to know that He's reaching out to help you also. As Tiffany said, go to surfthezone.com, send us an email. Guys, it could be at any hour, any day. We will contact you back, and we will talk to you about this. Well, as we wrap up this week's show, I really do want you guys to consider accepting God's help. Well, before we go, though, we are going to show you some more highlights of tonight's concert of Rebecca St. James and Barlow Girl.